Cougar City Gaming Podcast here with JPY, Bob and Weaving, and Genocide. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? OP? Doing all right. Ooh. Thanks. Hi, everybody. Uh... Yeah, it's been a while. Um, yeah, folks, we, we actually tried to um, to get some uh, a little bit of timing on uh, on this to get the new class, obviously. But uh, we are going to talk about the new class, new chapter. Um, Arcanist. How many Arcanists are going to be in each group, mm -hmm. you think? Jen, I know I know we're going to be healing with the Arcanist. What do you think? Definitely. So. Dude, I'm not going to hate on it. I wouldn't even care. Like, if we have, like, five Arcanists in our group, <laughs> that's cool. I want people to have fun. I feel like it's a fun class, and it should be fun for everybody to enjoy it. As long, it's going to be decent enough that it's unless you're hitting like top one percent of the ceiling of what your class could do, you're probably not even going to notice the difference. Like in content, I don't think. I mean, some really super high end teams probably will. You know, I still think DK is like king, but yeah, um, I mean, I think for most groups, the it's going to perform really, really well because you're not going to be able to play. It's kind of how Templar never really was a parse king, but they always like could perform. You always see him performing like really well in content, just for simplicity and comfort. You know, with like the way that they play. So I mean, a couple of buttons and a beam for five seconds seems like pretty simple and fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I think they're still gonna be like a pretty like straightforward comp of like you know as much DPS um, and damage and then heal stuff as possible, but. Um, I mean, people are going to have fun with this class because, you know, it brings so much to the table, even though they nerfed it, um, they nerfed the, the mythic that is basically best in slot for that, uh, class at least, but it uh, still will be for them. Well, yeah, for, for, for them, Maybe. for them is going to be, um, but I think for the other classes, they're going to have to basically go between killed Morris whispers and the new mythic. So but other other than that like um what do you guys think of the new class you guys are enjoying it like you know like just looking looking i'm looking forward to to healing with it um i know it has been mentioned that it's uh replacing the nightblade healer in mm -hmm. group comps so i haven't i haven't been watching too much of it on purpose because i kind of want to be surprised um, I want it to be new to me, okay. right? Yeah, I want to discover it on my own. And uh, so I'm looking forward to it coming out and getting my hands on it and like seeing what it can do. Oh, okay. There's so much utility in the kit. That's the, that's like the main thing. The utility in their kit is like crazy. They mm -hmm. literally have everything. Well, I mean, you don't so have like, with everything. A warden arcanist for a healer would be mm -hmm. like you're getting all the utility of the warden plus what the arcanist brings yeah that, that's that's the new meta minor basically evasion. yeah did you get my minor evasion so if you have like dual wield front bar in your dps and so i have minor and major evasion plus plus courage like my lord like what that opens up i'm really excited to comp around it so that's why i don't care if like we have 10 of them in our group <laughs> i don't really care bob fun. what do you what do you think about like having an arcana soft tank like do you think that's that's gonna be a like not not a big thing but like maybe a thing for for certain groups i mean i can see it being a, a certain thing as long as your major vulnerability is covered by something uh, um you know whether you got some some necro dps or a necro off tank or a necro main tank mm -hmm. like do, do you think it'll be fun maybe a necro main tank and an arcane as well Ooh, that's gonna be spicy though um i mean sure i i mean as much as much fun as tanking is <laughs> um tanking's a blast you know. bob <laughs> <laughs> Did your glorified DPS? So the person who's just getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Double eye staff tank. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would like to point out too that JPY is always like, "Oh, tanks! I hate tanks. They they always complain." And in our foreman, he's doing the tanking on this run, and he's doing a lot of the complaining. <laughs> Dude, I'm not complaining. Get out of here. <laughs> Figures. I don't complain at all. <laughs> Self 
self criticism is not self criticism. <laughs> <laughs> No, dude, tanking is a lot of fun. Like, I I actually enjoy tanking every once in a while, except for when um, when uh, I go into a VMAL, into a Twins prog, and I get told that it, they're doing right, right, no originals for the tanks. And I'm like, we're switching bosses? Um, I wish I had known that. But, <laughs> oh, I can't believe people are still tw uh, progging Twins. <laughs> Can you believe that, John? People are still progging twins. Like, they they can't get the conversions. It's, it's a learning curve for people that don't, like, haven't run it a lot. It's Remember, the game still has, like, a lot of new players that, like, yeah. haven't done VMAL for ages. Yeah, that's true. That's true, I guess. Um, but, like, yeah, Bob, what do, you, what do you think? Like, do you think you're gonna... Are you gonna make a new Arcanus tank? Well, I mean, I'm... Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll make an Arcanus, but it'll probably I'll probably kit it out to do all three roles, so it'll DPS tank and and if need be, I could probably throw out some emergency heals. But you don't want Bob healing. So. <laughs> Wait, I hold on. I'll let people die. We need to see <laughs> Bob heal. Like we should have Bob heal like one time, you know. Jen, you could switch classes with Bob. You could you could tank and then have Bob heal. For sure. For one of your four man. So let's switch it all up. You know, like JP there already are, tanked. There are videos of me tanking. Or there are videos of me healing in the All About Mechanics series. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Ooh. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, go check Cyanide's page. You know, All About Mechanics. Um, yeah, if you want to see Tank, uh, Tanking Bob heal some cool stuff, um, go check that out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, um, I mean, what do you guys think about the, just the new chapter overall? Um, do you think it's going to bring a lot of people back to the game, even though they nerfed, um, you know, some of the stuff? Uh, JP, what do you think? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the people have been, have been complaining for years about wanting a new class. Yeah, but do you do you mm, do you think it's gonna know. do you think it's gonna bring the the I'm old players sure. back to the game? I don't think the trials very. I don't think the content. So here's the thing: like, is any of that gear even like worth? I don't think so. Like the trial gear is pretty. No pretty not i think it's not great so in the trial itself i've heard like it doesn't look very fun i'm not ex i'm usually excited i love content and i love forming i love like doing new content trials and all that stuff but like it doesn't look like it's very fun and i feel like the gear isn't worth either which is kind of silly i i just i don't think unless there's something that everybody's like missing on pts and it's stuff that you have to have so i mean really your best trial still to this day for gear is like dread sale and everyone's like ran through that a million times and full so i don't really see what the appeal of coming back to like a, a mediocre trial and subpar gear it's kind of silly like the way that they design the gear they, they keep making the gear to cover like weaknesses and they're creating like very niche like stuff situationally where it's good but it's not enough to go in there and, and like, it's not like grind a new for a month set. Yeah, it's not worth grinding for a month and a half. I mean, that one, the one set, there are a couple of those sets are okay, but they're very, very niche. So why spend like a month grinding that gear just to have something that you may situationally only use like one time? So I, I don't know if it's enough. I mean, the class is going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy it, but I don't know. I, I think, uh, I think that's what really these power spikes, like, and they kind of got away from it. I think that's what makes people like want to, you know, do you remember when we all had to get our kilts and like how excited everyone was i mean that was like the funnest time and eso was running around shadow fin like stealing oh like water god yes people. before they changed that was, like, the it best thing in eso like that was i put getting purple with the chill team is number one number two is like farming that kill <laughs> like, <laughs> really I, like <laughs> wow that's insane farming yeah, the like kill. funnest yeah. activity <laughs> Yeah. Imagine yeah, so <laughs> JPY trolling going around dude. along the 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 coastline trolling people like sealing water notes. The mystery meat, dude! You drop the mystery meat on the spawn. Oh like, my god! <laughs> but yeah, no, I had so much fun doing that. I like like world. Well, then like 
it was like everybody you knew was in that zone chat mm -hmm. and everyone's just like i don't know it was like every I, the people like, are toxic those, stuff like that <laughs> yeah i know but like every i thought that was like a lot of fun i don't know so the so because there's nothing like super the class itself is going to be good it, it, it i don't care it doesn't look good as like a parse like on a dummy but it, it's gonna be like i think once people um start playing it and then maybe some of those other players like word on the streets through the discords the the arcanist is a blast to play and people are like okay i gotta come back and try it but i think it's i think zoss has done enough damage to the player base that they're that blind trust of like okay it's out let's all i mean we're all gonna do it but i'm just saying like the people yeah the, the people you that have left get a few people once once they hear it from their friends though mm -hmm. like hey this thing is great like it's so fun you know if it if it ends up being that way i think people will slowly um start to like trickle back but i don't think it's going to be like this massive influx on like day one exactly like, really. it's mm -hmm. like does it does giving you something new solve the problem of why you left it, it depends yeah, no. it depends no. on what it is i in in my personal opinion um, like JP was saying, you know, like having the friends tell you like, Hey, like Arcanus is a lot of fun. Um, and it's new that, that, you try yeah, it. yeah, from that perspective, I think that people could come back. I personally think Bob is going to have the most fun out of here playing the Arcanus because he loves Templar. And I think that is pretty close to a Templar, um, feel. I don't know. That's just me. What, what do you guys think? Like. Do you guys think it's closer to a Templar, like, gameplay? I think so, but... Bob would know best. Dude, I think it's more like a Sork. You you think so? Dude, it's like three abilities. Yeah. yeah. Well, dude, um, I mean, like I know, but, like, it just feels it just feels like a it's Templar just, to me. So, I don't know. Just because yeah. the beam? Yeah. You're, you're just seeing the beam. Yeah. Yeah, but think about the rotation, dude. It's going to be like a Sork. Like, you literally hit, like, three skills and like and beam. super simple and <laughs> people may get bored of it that's the thing but i don't know i don't it's, it's not an action yeah class it's i mean it's, it's just gonna be like you know watch your timers keep things up mm -hmm. yeah which is actually i mean really the good beaming for... though in the harder content is cool well yeah dude, i mean I can't, imagine can't the... wait to do db with one dude, dude imagine gonna, like trying to play around the blocks and stuff with the beam oh god yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean i Speaking of the, I'm doing. Man, I don't care. I've been told, I've been told that it was uh, going to be uh, a replacement for me in my Templar by a friend of mine who has been playing with it on uh, on BTS. So it's... we'll see. Oh, so basically, mm. they're saying that you're you're gonna put your Templar aside for a little bit, and like that's gonna be your new hoe. Oh, no way, dude. Instead, yeah. I, I don't believe it yeah, until I see it, Bob. That's what they that's what they're telling me. Is that this is gonna be my That's that's this is gonna be my new girlfriend. That's gonna be Bob's side. Hey, Bob, will you cross beams with me? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're gonna touch beams. Dude, never touch beams. Bob's new ESO side <laughs> piece is the Arcanist. Like we gotta name Bob's new side piece. So um maybe maybe we'll get to name Bob's new side piece soon um jpy i'm sure you'll have a pretty good title uh name for for your arcanist so god knows yeah i mean as far as healing i think I it's know. it's gonna be a lot of fun to heal with it too and i i like jen i do like um kind of waiting till it comes out to kind of explore um what what actually is good just for me to try it out like i don't know jen and i like jen we're we're like that um we like to do that we I, just like to to wait and i think it's and gonna actually... be a different play style though stuff you guys aren't used to it's um, gonna be like reactive because of the shields and stuff mm -hmm. like that you're gonna have to be like proactive with your heal more so than you normally would it's not gonna be like put down a, a springs and a budding seeds mm -hmm. and like you can do that and you already have this because you're only going to have that one. And that, mm -hmm. and that ground heal that gives the courage, that doesn't seem like a really strong like heal. So I don't know if it's going to be enough like layered with that. So it's going to be like, I, I just have a sneaky feeling that it's going to be like you have to layer like with your shields and like all the other stuff that it does like proactively like in fights. Hey, I like a Which challenge. Because, so like, that's kind of fun too. Like it, re it rewards you guys. You guys, you guys are both like 
aces when it comes to like max and all that stuff so like it'll reward people that can understand like mm -hmm. like boss fight mechanics and be ahead and be proactive and know when your damage spikes are and stuff like that i think it's going to be more like that i think a lot of like it, it so it's like going to be really easy for like dps to pick it up and do all right like novice dps but i, I actually have a feeling that healing and tanking on it's going to be a challenge like the average the average player like is gonna struggle a little bit or the person that doesn't know like all the mechs inside and out like playing it in the support role mm -hmm. you know what I mean? yeah, it's no. not gonna be like mindless like a warden not that wardens are mindless because i know you guys do other stuff too but it's not gonna be like free i guess where yeah. like when i say free like very low skill i think it's gonna be a very high skill cap like my my plate healing right. is right. so it's not like it's it's not gonna be like a beginner class like you make a no. tumbler healer to be a beginner healer it's gonna be like you an advanced like like a night blade healer no because yeah. you're gonna have to use your crux and you and put your healing yeah. beam out at certain mm -hmm. points and make sure you mm -hmm. have your crux up and it's not gonna be as forgiving like warden when you can just drop budding and we can all get a synergy mm -hmm. and as long as we're standing somewhere and it's gonna be, probably be more directional I think it's on the DPS, though, I think it'll be the opposite. It'll be like everyone, it'll be like a Sork. Everyone can pick it up and, like, you know, yes. hard yeah. enough to clear anything in the game. I think most people will be able to do that. But I think, but in support. I think that's going to be the misconception because people yeah, people are going to take it out of context. So they're going to, like, I'm going to be like, Arcanist is so easy to use, but that's, and people are going to forget that's a DPS perspective, right? Mm -hmm. And then someone's going to pick it up as a healer and think and struggle a little bit. So there's going to be, I expect a curve. Like, if we, when we start comping with it, for sure. Like, yeah, I mean, not that I'm worried about it, you know what I mean? Because it just opens so much uh, up. I, it's just like Necro Healer. Necro Healer is all about having, like, dead bodies mm -hmm. to make your heals strong. Because yeah. if you don't have them, your heals are pretty, you know, pretty poo. And <laughs> so you had the time when your heals, you know, when you put your heals down, so you had dead bodies to, to make them stronger. So I agree, JP. It, it's going to be. It's one of those classes that will reward you for knowing exactly what's going on mm -hmm. uh, in fight. <clears throat> I need three crux to do this empowered beam because the group's going to take a lot of damage in two seconds instead of where the DPS are just like crux, 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 beam, crux, 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 yeah. crux beam. Like that's very exactly. like simple. Or like as a healer, I, I have a feeling it's going to be. A, but I think it's 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 extremely rewarding to have one i mean anytime you can there's a lot of good support sets in the game and that's i really like that Zoss. that's like a really good i mean when i first started playing there wasn't all this versatility and stuff and i love that like aspect of the game and it's nice to like there's so many good ones that you can eliminate you know one support set from the group and use something else and comp like that's amazing another thing i'm thinking like too is like i don't know they the way that they they seem like pretty resource hungry with like the stam and stuff like that i'm curious to see like I, you better believe i'm going to be working on like a support arcanist like an mk arcanist or like or like something because like your beam timer in between like an mk timer and then you dump your stam then you apply mk then you beam like i feel like that could fit into like a really nice rotation yeah that... i have to sit down and figure it out Ooh, that would think be... about the rotation that would be pretty cool mm -hmm. like an mk arcane well because they run coral yeah they yeah run coral, coral riptide anyway, right yeah they're... Coral's really good because they keep their stam at that like 30% mm -hmm. threshold and that's what I mean but that's free like just doing your rotation will keep you there so like if you could time like your MK with your light attack and then your beam into your MK and then like through the rotation again and just picture like a bunch of those like doing that at the same time that's like insane like I mean I know it's only single with it's MK, like a but... symphony look at everybody <laughs> yeah. arcanist <laughs> yeah, no, I think that would be like that. That's what that's that's what I'm personally like. Besides my own getting, making sure my own personal DPS is like good enough, you know, for like the team because I want to play it like in content. Aside from that, like that's what I'm gonna be like probably working on is trying to figure out like ways to use them in the support like role because I think that's like pretty cool. I too. do, I do like um, that that MK Arcanus with Riptide. That's actually not bad. Do you think they could pull off Spalder too? in the mix or do you think that's just too no, much i don't think so there's no their stam mm. is already really oh low. no because they're gonna have to do no, the the other the mythic never the mind mythic. never mind you can't have two mythics so you still yeah, have no. to have like the easy maybe the mm, i don't know maybe no they they don't have a fight they only have frost i think they only have a frost dot they don't have enough that's the, that was the gripe on them mm -hmm. so they deal extra damage with like elemental status effects yeah. or whatever but they don't have a lot of elemental status effects 
So like, uh, like that's the thing with like EC. Like I don't know if it'll, that'll work, but I was thinking like eat like or you could probably do like cash on them too. Like you know, figure out something. I don't know. It's. Uh, I would love to see Zoss remove that six people soft cap on those things. Like remove the new tap. People wear it. Things oh, like the for the smaller. Uh, like, Combat prayer only hits like six people, so you need to combat prayer twice. twice yeah. Your spalder only hits six people, so two people need to wear it. You know they should remove. Yeah. They should move that to a twelve-person cap because you're you're using it in a twelve-man group. The other the other thing that's great about them too is like they get that major um, brutality or whatever mm -hmm. in uh, and and what is it sorcery? Or yep. prop, what I, I get those two mixed up, but they get their major with like just having one skill slotted for both bars, so they're gonna be able to like run hero pots like really really well like easily like so they're gonna be like a big big like which is pretty exciting plus their own built-in like ulti regen i think it's i think once like the built-in ulti regen the ease of being able to run hero pots and stuff like that too i think it's gonna be like really like big game for them yeah that's that's why that's they're why basically they're rooms. replacing the night blades at 500 it's it's yeah. It's unfortunate because well, like the night blades are actually a lot like they're it's not bad. It's between Sork and night. It's between Sork and like night blade. Yeah, but I think and, like the night Sork blade is now with the berserk is really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's still situational. Like there's good places to have a night blade and oh, you're saying oh, yeah. healing. Yeah, you're talking yeah. from healing. Yeah, yeah, from the healing. I'm talking in general. Yeah. Like you won't probably won't even need a night blade anyways. Like even no. on your DPS. No, you especially if everyone's using like the new mythic. Yeah, Dude, if you have a bunch of arcanists, you really don't even need like exactly. I I think people people are saying that they're gonna use one arcanist in the group. Um, uh, as far as like just you know overall, and it's the the healer. Well, but I sweaty. Yeah. yeah, but I yeah. think I think even the sweaty groups are gonna realize that they might need to have two. They might need to have either like, you know, an arcanist tank or something. Um. Because you already have the DKs in the in the DPS, so like I do think Bob is right. Like you could do an Arcanus and a Crow tank, have an Arcanus and a Warden healer, and then have like the DKs, Sorks, and um, you know, like a couple of Crows in the in the DPS. Um, especially if they're wearing Turning Tide, which now that we can get rid of Yolnacrin, you know, that's there's so much like we can do. In the support, we can... dude, Arch Druid is like the Arch Druid helm. Is I know, like it's... his team in four man. Like I, I do my own Colossus for twelve seconds, and then I proc Arch Druid for another seven. So it's like twenty seconds of Volm by myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or like when Bolt and Bob split, like I can, I can debuff like one pack when they split to kill ads like one way, and then the other one goes the other way, and I can debuff like both like at the same time, dude. It's so, so good. Yeah, that's, right. that's what I'm saying. So, I think like can, I think it's gonna really be more than two. I think it's gonna be two. But you'll still have the EC crow. Yeah, mm -hmm. to... yeah. I think the e, the EC crow will mm. still be there. Um, I but I really do think it might go up to two Arcanus in the group because like well, we're gonna have more than that. Well, DPS probably, but I'm talking about like the we're, real sweat. We're gonna groups. have. What are you talking about? We're gonna have a group of twelve. Yeah, Let's everybody's go. gonna want to play their crow. Let's go. For <laughs> the first yeah. like couple months, it's gonna be an entire crow patch or not crow. I'm sorry. Patch. <laughs> yeah. God, oh, yeah, I can't sure. imagine like going it's into Iowa. They play it. Everybody everything. wants to play it. Brittle too. They do brittle too with like the one. Mm -hmm. thing. They do everything. It's like I forget everything they do. That's why Literally I. Everything, that's though. why I think Bob is onto something when he said the um, the Arcanus and the crow tank. Um, they have to like do most of the time they're doing brittle anyway, like one of them is. So like, why not have the Arcanus like that is doing that? Um, plus like you remove Yolnacrin, like you could put you know Sax back in the group if you want Sax seals. Um, I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. Like you could do so much. Um, you can even take. I don't mind it in that case because then, yeah. Well, you can, um, hmm? in that case, when you're doing that, you can free up a, um, you can throw another damage ulti in rather than a horn. Mm -hmm. Dude, the MA is better, like, or, or topping that is oh, better uh... than Rojo. Rojo is, like, I can't, I hate Rojo. I don't hate people that run it. It takes a lot of skill to run it. Mm -hmm. I just hate that, like, at your best, 
at your best, you you maybe have sixty percent uptime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's a really shitty uptime. So like Arcanus and MA like dropping their eyeball with their ulti regen, like that's that's another possibility, right? Mm-hmm. Like a war machine Arcanus, like as like a buff thing to like if people want to play them then you just comp out the the rojo and the yolokren and now we're really like thinking of crazy stuff but i'm just saying like the uptime in the burst is like so bad with rojo because it takes like you have to get two heavies it's like six seconds before the whole group gets mm-hmm. it and it's just i don't know mm-hmm. you you know jen uh, i hate it i hate that set if that and, happens like, you know what we can do we can put mk back on a healer um you could do the like ma mk healer and then have mm-hmm. those oh, no, you could you could have one of the healers wearing like ma yeah so you, that's you put, put ma on a healer. yeah that's what i'm saying you could have ma yep. and then martial or, knowledge on the healer too with spalder um so you could have that as well yeah or just ma i mean why not so you could have two of your supports in ma yeah and you could also have like you could have the you know the arcane right i was you were in a group of what? MK is not one of my favorite sets, but yeah, it's definitely doable. Jen, it's okay. We... Oh, I was just saying that MK is not one of my favorite healer sets, but... It'll be okay. <laughs> It'll be okay. <laughs> no way, dude. We're doing the Coral Riptide MA. That, or MK. That, or I mean, that would, be, that would be really nice because then it gives the Crow, um, the EC Crow a chance to like you know do do a damage set the sork can do it too it's really good on a sork with a crystal weapon spam and then you pick up another unique pin buff as well they can use their crystal weapon to like keep it yeah it's good luck pretty... trying to tell bolt that though Dude, it's pretty good <laughs> bolt's what? gonna play crystal sork weapon? yeah no like the the mk it's sork good. like coral good. riptide and mk good. yeah i know but like i mean bolty like likes to do damage so dude crystal weapon crystal weapon does it's just you're you're not range it's not as good yeah as i mean they nerfed it but dude it was really strong for a patch it was like crazy bob mm-hmm. bob was yeah, saying was something what were you gonna say bob i know you... oh it just i i just remember before they they changed uh ma and um uh war some war machine that i, I was in a group we were comped and I was on my Templar, and we, the oh, Night Blade yeah. and I would just rotate. So I would rotate my Adric Spear ulti while they rotated their, their uh, you know, what, whatever the, the cheap ulti. I, I forget on a Night Blade. And so that's what we were doing all the time. Yeah, before they changed it. Them, mm-hmm. Before they changed yeah. it. Yeah. yeah where we were it wasn't giving it for... to everybody. Like it was almost 100% uptime. It was like 85, 90% uptime. Yeah. yeah. Before they changed it to where like it was, it goes off the amount of ulti spent is the yeah. duration. But before they did that, yeah. dude, yeah, you guys were probably like, well, no, that was crazy. that was the meta. That was before my time. That was the meta. It was like yeah. literally three. Before my time. Three ma. You had the crows in ma, and then you had, um, and then it started to like where they put, um, especially in, in um, asylum, they put a healer in ma, and then the two crows in ma. And then it, it kind of went from there. But, like, yeah, can you imagine if they put that back in the meta now, the way that um, Master Architect used to be? Like, oof. I kind of want to. Yeah, it didn't matter the cost of the ulti. <laughs> yeah. It was just an ulti. Yeah. And it gave you a certain amount of time. It was awesome. <laughs> Templar OP. <laughs> Templar is going to be OP, like, with their, their little, the little whoosh sphere, right? What is it called, Bob? I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, that that because like that's what like a hundred and ten ulti, right? That's what it is. It was at a hundred and ten. Uh, no, it's like seventy five. No, it's seventy. Oh it's, shit! It's seventy. Yeah, yeah. It's really cheap. Like you, you can you can literally do it like every other backfire rotation. Oh my you can, god! You can get it to go. So like it's it's on a twenty second rotation basically. So at that point, do you need three MAs? Like you could probably get away with two, right? No, because yeah, the duration, the duration though. It's now. the duration. Of, yeah, now no. back in the day, we could we could just use two. So no, yeah, blade using their 
using their their, their slash their slash yeah yeah. Yep. yeah but that's that's what yeah, i'm saying kind of like if they go back movie. to way back in the day you think we could get away with two <laughs> you know have a night blade and a templar do that and like then they just go like you know yeah, slash they, slash they won't oh I'm, yeah, i know it's won't. it's it's super busted um i i wish they would but because like at that point MK goes back on the healer gen. I'm sorry. I know you don't like martial knowledge on a healer, but I quit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't quit. I will come hunt you down in Canada. <laughs> but no, that that I'm would not it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like the the thing though. Like that would be the thing. It would just be, um, you know, MK on a healer with Smolder again, and God knows what else. Who knows? We'll have some fun. Um, other than that, like, um, you guys have, uh, anything that you want to talk about? Like, the new class, new chapter? Like, what do you guys... Dude, does anyone see what the new deck looks like for Tribute? Oh my the god, no. The real important yet. stuff, I'm pretty sure we're getting a new Patreon. In- yeah, we, we are. We are. We are. We're getting I a new deck. anything. Like, come on, crickets. Like, come on. We all know the real end game is Tribute. Um, excuse <laughs> me, the real end game and is Fashion Scrolls. Fashion scrolls with titles. Like dude, that's... you have to get those unique like items though, those tribute items for your house, dude. You have to mm-hmm. play tribute. Mm-hmm. Get those ban- those banner things. Yeah, the paintings that come with them. The no, it's, painting it's, of the deck. Is it the painting or the you tapestry? Have all your trophies. You don't have a whole house with all your your uh, tales of tribute trophies, Cougar. Come on, I know you do somewhere. Oh, oh I don't, I don't, dude. Trophies. I sold those to the merchant. <laughs> I know, I'm joking. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> what are you do talking do. about? Don't laugh. I do have a house with that. Oh in my it. god! You do. Every <laughs> trophy. From, Jen. From all those bot matches, dude. You have trophies in your house. Oh my goodness. Goodness oh, gracious. Yeah, you do. Jesus. I'm proud of them. I'm You're proud them of them? Pride. You're displaying the. Oh my gosh. Dude, sell those things. They're worthless. Dude, you, it takes forever to get a game now. There's not a lot of people playing ESO right now. I feel like with like Diablo coming out and just people being uh, yeah, it's it's unfortunate. Know, it quiet. It's unfortunate. It like I, I do. Even I've been on a break. Yeah, besides like our like group runs, I've been on. I've been playing other stuff right now. You know what I've been doing? I've been in the EU well, server. I, just, I used to love queuing for dungeons. <laughs> I've been I've been in the EU server like Bob. <laughs> Role playing in the EU server. It, I mean, it's it's pre patch blues. That's that's what happens every you know yeah. kind of big patch. Mm-hmm. Is, you know, people because we're we we just want it and we can't get it and we're bored and then we start getting bored with what we do have and so people take a break for you know a few. We're weeks. a bunch of spoiled brats. Yeah. <laughs> hey, like it's just pre patch blues. I'll... But yeah, yeah, I, I agree. The, a little quiet lately and if i didn't have to wait an hour for a solo dps queue for a random dungeon like i would be playing eso that's like my favorite thing to do but the queues like take so long it's not worth it what else am i going to do while i'm like walking around farm like i don't need to farm like yeah that's... i don't know it's just... that was like my favorite thing dude i used to like open up my inventory and you know how you just get the one transmute crystals after you get your daily random and I'd yeah. have like 15 of those things like in my inventory after one day. Like literally, that's all I would do is just two random dungeons. You know what I wish we anywhere. could do with the queues? Playing the game, but I can't do it anymore. You know what I wish we could do with the queues? I wish we could have it to where, um, you know, when you pick specific dungeons in the queue and you like checklist that. I wish we could have a queue like just a big overall queue where you checklist what you want to do. Like, if you want to play Tales of Tribute... Like, all activities? Yeah, yeah, like, I wish we could just... Yeah, just a general queue. Yeah, just a general queue. Oh, yeah, give them another way to break the game. (laughs) I know, I know, but, like, Jen... I know, I wish you could queue for both Tribute and Random Dungeon. Like, in a battleground, too. You know? Yeah. Like... You can kind of just accuse saying like I'm a player looking to do something. Give I want to do something. Exactly. Like an MMO. I exactly. Do stuff with exactly. Like, like I hate the whole. Like I get a lot of people play this game solo, but it, dude, it's an MMO. Yeah. Like, it's not yeah. a solo game. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not. It's not so, Sky. It's not Skyrim. <clears throat> I understand they're trying to appeal to the Skyrim market and all that, but man, it's an MMO. They need to make like more 
reward for rewards for like content. Like I said, I said a long time ago. Like if it's what queue priority, like every other game. Like if I queue for Overwatch and there's not a lot of support roles queuing, if I queue as a support, I get bonus XP for queuing as a support. They need to do that. Like incentivize like queues to like speed up like the time. Like if there's not a lot of healer tanks queuing, if you queue as a tank, yeah, maybe you get an extra five transmute crystals or something simple like that. They need <laughs> that be. That. That'd be cool. Yeah. I'd, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, yeah, that's what they do, like, in Overwatch. Like, if there's not a lot of tank rolls, if you queue for tank, because they know, like, the waiting time for, like, a tank, it'll be, like, five minutes, you know, because not a lot of people want to do it. Or it'll be short, but they incentivize it. I'm sorry, it's the opposite. It'll be, like, really long for DPS because everyone's queuing for it. But if you pick one of the other rolls that's a shorter time frame, like, smart queues, so at least, like, I mean, it's like that anyways. If you queue for a tank, it's still almost like an insta pop. But they should like incentivize it more to queue for like the off rolls, or just stop breaking tanks and making them all leave the game. I mean, <laughs> I do, I do like that extra XP or like extra loot or something. You know, if you queue, that that's actually a pretty good idea. Whatever rule is mm -hmm. needed, they probably don't have like the. The, the coding probably a lot on the back end of the yeah. Yeah. yeah no but i do i do like the the whole thing like i wish you could queue for everything that's that's one thing i was um like i was thinking about it in the eu server because the times that i play in the eu server is like really late at night for everybody else over there so there's not that many players but if you were to queue for um you know overall like a battleground or like uh tales of trivia like all together maybe like it'll it'll help you get you know to an activity a lot faster so i was like hmm, maybe that's something that yeah ESO could do yeah i know it could break the game jen um i know like people have been talking about like q being broken um one no, i was gonna say along the lines of like if they're gonna do like a all-around activity finder mm -hmm. like that I wish they would take away the, you know how when like your queue pops and you have to like agree to join it, mm -hmm. take that away. Like if you've queued, you've said you're available. So, cause like the number of times you queue for something just for like it to run like the 45 seconds out and then the group to fail. Like, <laughs> or have it yeah. to where it's like a lot shorter, like a lot shorter queue, maybe like, um, like a 30 second queue or something or like a 25 seconds. Just load you out. Like you queued, you wanted to do an activity. It's just going to load you to that activity yeah i mean i i get it that that's the problem with that jen is that if people are afk then you know you're if but that's the thing though if but then the rest of the people can get into the activity and find a replacement you're not like stuck like requeuing again yeah but if you're if you're queuing for a tails game like they basically forfeit the game and you didn't play the game you see what oh, I'm yeah saying? the timer would run out you'd win yeah but i mean that's not like, fun that's that's not fun to like i still think you need like a timer but not like not a 45 second timer i think 30 seconds is good enough and then like you can requeue it you know i don't know maybe maybe that's just me yeah because i find like one of the problems with the queuing is like the queue breaks like the number of times jp and i have tried to like queue up for random activities and we're a healer and a dps or something mm -hmm. and it'll pop right away the first time but then like somebody declines it or like runs it out and it's broken and then it never pops again it like breaks like we have to like disband the group reform the group yeah no it's annoying yeah it should just like make people like if if you've queued for an activity you've said you wanted to do it it should just like yeah. put you in it i wish they would bring the trials uh uh queue back to be honest no you don't want no you don't i uh, know no, i know <laughs> but i do i do no no, no 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 i agree with cougar but it needs to be normals only yes no, yes no, yes normals, normals fine, only but then what's the point does it really benefit like anyone? yeah yeah for gear like farming farm gear like yeah. it's just the fun yeah thing at that point like every, normal's doable even if like it is like bottom of the barrel look at look at how look have at how CP bad cap, like you have to be over cp 500 look at how terrible people complain about fake tanks and fake healers now you have a potential <laughs> for like four fake oh, support four. roles you dude it, mm, that's true me. they would need uh, some sort oh. of like gear check in order to yeah do you well, like, they, do you, they, no, do you no, have like, required, check. like, you're locking your role. Part, do you yeah. have, like, the required defensiveness to be cute as a tank? Yeah. 
because like I'm telling you right now, now you have four people that control that queue instead of just, you know, two <laughs> and you can still get through twelve like four man content, dude. I mean I, I I mean can twelve can twelve DPS do a normal trial? You probably <laughs> uh probably not not the not uh, dread sale. Not dread sale. Oh yeah, where there's like <clears throat> I mean I've seen even Probably on not normal, I've seen like the tank like solo dreadsail twins. Like you yeah, let them you enrage, no... it doesn't kill anybody. I don't know how hard yeah, Rakat no hits in normal mall on a DPS. That that's actually a good question for that. Like yeah, like it'd be a fun. That'd be a fun like fun run to do. Just twelve DPS oh. and see like you know what? Even if you <laughs> kill would. somebody in a one shot, yeah. you got. 11 other people, somebody's rezzing while other people are hitting them still. Bob, like... put a taunt, I put a taunt, and we'll aggro kite <laughs> back and forth. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, like, he's just You get five taunts before it's it. locked now, so we can just abuse that back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> five taunts, 12 seconds. You gotta kill the boss in a minute, because we can't aggro taunt him back and forth. I bet we... <laughs> That's Bob rule. Bob's rule, you only get one taunt. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't kill it in 15 seconds, I did my job. After you guys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> oh, that's I, does, I don't press buttons twice. Taunt once. <laughs> to be honest, that's actually pretty, like, legit, though, Bob, when you think about it. Like, you know, taunt. I'm taunting this bitch. If you don't kill it in 12 seconds, this bitch is coming you after kill you. kill the priority ad first. <laughs> and Bolt better be focused yep. on whatever the kill ad is, like, immediately. Yep. And kill exactly. It you, you better kill, kill his that first big taunt. one first. Kill his first taunt first. Like that's what we have to strategically. Oh god, I can I can imagine that too. Like I can just imagine. Whoo, whoo. No, but we we were talking about that. Any um, I was in a vet hell raw like really late at night. Um, I think it's like eleven o'clock my time or like eleven thirty my Ooh, time. Hell right after dark. Yeah, that hell right after dark in the EU server. Um, dude, the people so, in EU dude, are really nice though. My girls, when I want to flex hard. The people in EU are really nice. Um, I did like a normal half and a normal like kinds, and like all these fuckers gave me all their shit. Like it's it's actually pretty <laughs> nice. Um, they were like even the jewelry stuff too. Like I I was. I was like probably you know thinking that they'll you know just keep it for the mats and such but like people are really nice in eu i have to give them that um <clears throat> but it's it's been fun i've been scrying i'm at like scry six i think because um it's easier to get leads in eu for some reason for me i don't know bob is uh, it i just seen that it just no, it just seems that way. The R the RNG is the exact same on each server. Really? Because mm -hmm. it just yeah. seems like I got better RNG in EU for the damn things. Um, like first try like it, on a boss. Like when I was when I was farming for like yeah, when I was farming for like the mythics and stuff, mm -hmm. one server, like I I'd, I'd get I'd get leads, you know, within a you know, within a few tries. With, okay, within a few, right? On the, oop, I'm sorry. Yeah, within a few, sorry. I uh, uh, I think I lost connection there for a second. But then, you know, and then it takes me like four days on the other server to get it. It just, it's all random. <laughs> it just feels that way to you. I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I got in some leads first try, and it's not one or two. It's like five or six. Um, I was like, wow. Did you always get, like, if it takes five? like leads you'll get like three or four and then there's always that one stickler one every time dude every time yeah maybe maybe but um let's i forget which mythic it was where i got like... oh, oh jen died jen's wrong jen died oh there she is she's back oh, she's <laughs> oh man Ooh. dude jen literally probably like hit a button um <laughs> yeah but uh jen is still muted so we'll, we'll give her a little bit on on here to get the i'm shape. here yeah. yeah it's just giving me uh some connection problem issues also connect man you guys and with your connections i'm just kidding um anyways like let's uh let's talk about some uh some shout outs i do want to give a shout out to 
to the Turbo team because, believe it or not, those guys have been doing a lot of really good work lately, just overall as a team. And, you know, they, they deserve a little bit of recognition. They're doing VSO right now, doing uh, the hard content, trying to get through the Craglorn hard modes um, before diving into the to the DLC stuff. So, uh, Wait, can I give them a bigger shout out? Uh, yeah, I mean they're doing it the legit way and not on heavy attack sorc. So like, yeah, that to, is like, true. Everyone on that team for learning how to like play content the non cheese like way, mm -hmm. like proper and, group comps and, and yeah, special, good job everybody. Especially like in a time when a lot of that stuff is going on, and yeah, it would be a lot easier to like do that. But it's not going to pay off for them in the long run, and they like again, like I, every like. This, the, the 12, the, the sort comp versus them, let's, like, if I could find, like, equal, you know, like, trial experience between two groups, the sort group will probably progress further, but they are going to hit a wall one day if that's all they ever know, where, like, those guys, like, learning to play the game that way are going to progress, like, above and beyond all that, so, like... Yeah, that is true. They are doing it the, the the like absolutely yeah. learn, legit learn the way. mechanics, learn to like fight through mechanics. Yeah, that's that's be most very important. easy for all of them just to not go through the grind that they're going through right now, right? And to say, mm -hmm. well, I'm just gonna leave this team in a heavy attack sort because I want to get you know what I mean. And they're not, which is like big big kudos to like them. Like, yeah, they should be proud. I'm so proud of them. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, guys, like, they're the younger us. You remember when we were doing that that stuff, like, way back in the day? Like, that's that's where they're at. They're where we were um, way back in the day. Like, and <clears throat> some of the players in that team just felt like they couldn't do that content um, because, you know, like, it's intimidating. But um, to be honest, anybody in the game, you know, if they put the hard work and dedication to it, you, you can do any content in the game if if you just work at it so like good job guys Dude, i told the, you know the team, like i i told the chill team like a long long time ago pretty much if you like the people that you play with like you'll you'll get stuff done because mm -hmm. you won't you'll want to play better you mm -hmm. won't like finger point you'll give everyone time everyone everyone you have to get 12 people on the same page and you know some people are going to master the content like right away and if they don't like the people that they play with, they're going to say, well, I'm better than this. I don't like these people anyways. I deserve better. I can go on this other team because they're not enjoying themselves. But if you like the people that you're playing with and you all, everyone likes each you other. You want everybody to succeed. Yep. You mm -hmm. want you want to see, like, maybe you guys are struggling with healing, but I, 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 I like you guys. So I'm not going to, like, you know, leave and go try to DPS somewhere else. Or if I'm tanking, if you like the people you play with, that's, like, really, like, the secret. Because then there's no, you're not mad at them for whatever. They're your friends. Mm -hmm. Like you want to help them, and that's the most important like thing I think. Like, in I mean, waiting. like if look at my case too. Is when I joined Chill Team, it was like to come in and help clear, like, clear Hellraw, and I was like, oh, all right, I'm like far past this level. You, you can fit on like a way better team, way yeah, better team and, than when you joined us. And Jeff. like <laughs> the time playing with everybody, I'm like, this team is great. I love these people. I'm having a great time. And like, what's more important to me, having fun or like playing with a bunch of people that are just like out for themselves? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, no, that's the most important. Clear thing. this one thing, and then teams disband it and find another team to clear your next thing. Yeah. <clears throat> and that mentality, yeah, like all those clears. That mentality is is like the thing with turbo too like we tried to like put that mentality into the other team you know when we were building it um so like that's literally turbo it's just it's just a, a baby chill team in a way um but they have their own little twist of um you know their their own set of people there's there's a couple of peeps in there from chill but um a lot of them are are newer players to the end game content and they're doing extremely well um, I'm very proud of them, and especially, you know, like JP said, you guys are doing it without doing heavy attack builds, which is going to be huge later on if, you know, Sauce decides to nerf, um, to nerf that, so. Or they make harder content. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. down the road, mm -hmm. the year from now, the next trial or whatever, dungeon, or who knows. Ooh, what if they, what if they made a boss fight where if you channel an attack 
it reflects the damage back. Only channeled attacks, though. You know how they have the one boss, or whatever, the mm -hmm. capacitors that reflect yeah. direct damage? What if you had the healers? You guys would be crying, but... Hey, <laughs> yeah, we probably... The restos won't reflect back that hard. Oh. The restos won't hurt that bad. But could you imagine, dude? I, rest, I, like a truck. Man, if I was a dev, <laughs> dude, if I was a game designed for Zoth, that would be the next trial. Like the bot, and it would drop like the most like amazing gear, but you can't heavy attack it. <laughs> if you heavy attack it, it reflects, it like, zaps you back through your heavy or something. That would be the next, dude. That someone, someone needs to put that in the game. It'd be so troll. God, they wouldn't do that. No, they wouldn't do that. Create, dude. People yeah, would like, like that's just me. Flip out. Right? <laughs> like, no. create this environment. We want to be accessible for heavy attacks, and then just pull the rug out from underneath everyone. Whoops, sorry. That would be very toxic too. Like, yeah. oh, I'm not really a bad person. That would be very toxic. toxic. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Like, that would be toxic. Like, it would be nuts. That's what I would do. Um, but uh. Like I said, like, good job, Turbo. You know, congrats on that. Um, now, a lot of people have been wanting to hear who won the Matt Raffle. And a lot of people put a lot of mats into the guild bank. Um, so we want to thank everybody for Yeah, for well, I mean, the prize pool was huge. Like, how, what did the prize pool get up to? Um, it was to the Necrom house. Um, the it's boat. The house? Yeah, the boat. Yeah, so they're getting the floating house. What else are they getting? They're getting the floating house, uh, like, one mil worth of, uh, um, the, like, room boxes, like, the costume room boxes and, like, pet room boxes. They're getting a thousand red vouchers. Um, mm -hmm. oh, let me see. What, what else? It was, it was just some ungodly amount of stuff. Um, and they're getting the clockwork polymorph. The, yeah, there's I think there's a polymorph in there. Yeah, there there's yeah. a polymorph. There is the um, the little like uh, Barney uh, costume as well, in there. Um, I mean, it, it was insane how quickly that raffle just kind of went <laughs> and skyrocketed, because we we added stuff um, at certain thresholds, and we will be doing another raffle like that in probably like august september so keep your eye on that um i don't know what we'll put as far as price cougar town christmas this year is gonna be lit <laughs> oh yeah because there's gonna be there's gonna be one at christmas too there's gonna be one raffle like that yeah. at christmas um so it's gonna be interesting and remember that i give mats away during christmas so you can like technically put those mats back into the raffle if you really wanted to um, you know, if you don't need them, especially, but, um, the, the raffle in August, September slash September is going to be a Remote little bit, keys? you know, it's, it's going to be a little bit different because there's going to be other mats that are in there. Um, obviously, you know, like the basic mats, tempering alloys, draw wax, kudas, rosins, um, probably even chromium platings are going to be there, but then we're going to put other, other mats in it. Like, uh, we had mundane and uh, heartwood in this one. We might put like deco wax and you know like perfect row or or like even ethereal dust um into into the the mats um so it's gonna be a little bit different that way it's not the same stuff but you guys want to hear who won huh huh well i mean you guys know drum roll drum roll so the the person that that won is going to be it's larry d this congratulations larry larry put a ton of mats into the guild bank it is insane um i think the person that rivaled the most with larry was mrs fiddlepont she put a ton of mats in there too um because we did open it up to gms um i felt it was you know it's it's okay you guys anybody can, could play yeah, yeah anybody can play merc and i couldn't play but because that's that's not fair but anybody else can play but larry <laughs> like um he also donated 35 stacks of rubidite ore to the guild um unrefined rubidite ore to the guild as well when uh, the raffle was going on um just for for stuff he he has he donated a ton of stuff ton of mats to the guild as well so uh, congrats, Larry. Like, you get um, some stuff. 
And I don't know how much of a housing fanatic he he might be. I look forward to visiting his uh, his floating house. He better uh, have that decorated right away. I don't know. Like he did donate some of his um, some of his entries to other people. So like he might donate some of his prize support to other people too. I could see that, and that is very doable. So if he wants to do that, I know he's on vacation right now. So I don't know if he's gonna. Um, if he's gonna find that out pretty soon but congrats larry mm -hmm. um thank you everybody that participated in the raffle um uh, i wish we could have more than one winner but like i felt like one person with that big chunk amount of stuff um it just created more of a you know it was like, a big lottery it's a big lottery yeah. um and anybody could win really at that point um we do have a you know our weekly raffle um yeah, I had my 10 tickets in there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jen, I've seen yeah, people... You with 10 tickets, you have a chance. Yeah, I've, I've seen people in the weekly raffles win with, like, 5K. So, it's... it's Anything is possible. Like, it just... It's odds. Um, yeah, Larry and mm -hmm, a couple definitely. of other people had, like, better odds. But that doesn't mean that, you know... It, it You never know. You never know. I've seen crazy things. But um, any I'll still roll the dice. <laughs> you frozen rolled the dice a little bit too, so that's that's pretty nice. But um, you know, thank you guys for for coming out and and being part of the podcast with us. Um, other than that, and we're gonna come back next month and try to talk about some uh, some heavy attack sorks tunes or whatever, most likely. Um, we'll see. We'll see what topics kind of arise in there. Um, the housing contest is going on right now. It's spring theme and it ends July 30th. So it's in Snug Pod. First place is 500k. Second place 300k. Third place is 200k. So make sure to let me know that you're entering that. Um, and there you go. That's it. So thank you everybody for coming out. Uh, bye.